Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can solve the problem of database if you are getting this error. No data was received to import, either no file name was submitted or the file size exceeded the maximum size permitted by your PHP configuration. So that means uh, in the PHP configuration file, you have set a specific value to the maximum size upload, which is not actually uh, supporting uh, to this uh, uploading file. Why? Because this has a greater uh, size. All right but you have set the less size to your configuration file. So let me show you how this error is uh, coming into uh, my database when I am going to uh, import any specific uh, database. So I have few databases here. I have choose and then click on go. And then after I am getting this error. So how I solved this error, let me show you. First of all, you have to go to your C drive. And there you have to go XAMPP or VAMP and I'm going here PHP. All right. And here you will be finding somewhere php.ini. So I'm going to open this in my Visual Studio Code Editor. So here I will be uh, finding, I will be finding mac upload maximum file size. So currently we have 2 MB. So I am going to increase the size of this, for example, 750 MB, right? So I'm going to save this. You can increase the um, size according to your need. But for now, I am just putting 750 MB. So I have saved this file and now I'm going to import again. But first of all, I am just recommending you to uh, uh, stop and start again your database. So I have just stopped and then and again started. And then again, I am just going to refresh this. All right. And now I'm going to import. So I have this database, I have choose that one and then click on go. Why this is uh, uh, happening? Because I have not selected the database. So first of all, I have to select the database and then after I have to import this file. All right, because I have refreshed and then I need to select again. So I have selected now and then clicking on go button. And now it will work. So finally, we have imported our database, new database. So this is the database and inside of which all the tables has been imported over here. So in this way, you can solve the problem which uh, you were facing, I think. So I have solved the problem by increasing the uh, size inside the php.ini file. So you should also do the same thing, but make sure that you have to select the database and then after you have to import from here. All right. So in that way, you could able to easily import your database and successfully uh, execute the queries uh, to the specific table uh, you wanted to. All right. So if you are still facing any issue, you can just ask me the question in the comment section. I will definitely try my best to reply you as soon as possible. So see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. All the links of my video courses are below in the description, which are absolutely free. So in the next video, we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section, you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.